Well, I got a new, well, updated uh, form here for the zoo. And I think we're going to break our old score. So we haven't lost any troops at, at 318. Uh, still going with the frost archers and cannons and ballistas in here. And you can see they're still pulling, Kraken's still pulling everyone in the middle. Only level tw uh, 12 is what I got. You know what? I might not break my score. My old one was 476. Yeah, we got it. Okay, so I'm going to be a little bit higher, so I thought I'd share. It's not, like, way higher. It's only 2 million higher, I guess. But uh, that was uh, what I'm using. I just don't have the... Uh, nobody really seemed to die there, except for some of my cannons. I wonder if... Uh, I know the frost archers tend to keep those guys at bay, but a lot of my range. Uh, I think don't I have any more? Let me see if I have any more um, cannons in there. Barracks. See if I have any. And no more cannons, unfortunately. So, I don't know. Maybe I should try to mess with it. But this seems to do as best as I, as I could go with this one. The cannons do the most damage. And uh, I wonder if I pull these guys out and put some ore hunters in there, if that'll help at all with, as far as damage. Ore hunters do pretty good damage. Let's just see. See if that helps at all, or they just kill my ore hunters. I don't know. Looks like they're just getting them spread out. If they get spread out too much, then the Kraken can't pull them all into a little group. It's harder to get more damage with that. But that being said, the Kraken does pull them into a little group, and then the Orc Hunters can uh, do multiple damage on a small group. So we'll see how this one uh, rolls out for us. We're sitting at 314 troops. So I'm just going to see if this actually helps us, or are we going to lose um, some guys with this? Looks like he's... A few guys are starting to spread out there a little bit. Oh, they got a, a bear out in the in the distance there. They're starting to pull uh, a ogre out there. So it's not as tight a group as with the other one I was using. I'm not sure if the... Uh, haven't lost any troops, though. So that's not bad. So we'll just... Uh, We'll see if these uh, orc hunters can give us a little bit more damage, maybe. Ideally, guys, uh, cannons are what's going to give you the most damage. So you pull pull whatever you got to pull out of there and put if the more cannons you have, just a few. All you need is like a brawler and a couple of he pilgrims in there to heal your uh, kraken. And then if you have all the rest goblin techs, you're going to do the most amount of damage that you can do. You're going to optimize it. Um, all the other troops in there are just going to kind of pull those guys out and they're going to kind of chase after them. If you put Peltas in there, it seems that's what they're going to do is just going to have a bunch of Peltas just kiting everybody all over the place and you can't get them in a nice tight bunch to uh, actually kill them. So this one's at halfway point. We're looking at 200 million-ish. So... I don't know, they, they aren't getting too spread out on this one, so we might get a little bit more damage, but we're going to have to step it up. 200 was the last one. I need uh, 278, so we'll see how this goes here. So they open up some more slots, up to 15 for the troop formations, and that's kind of cool. Uh, not cool, it's $2,500 
2,500 gems a slot. So, but now I have a little bit more slots, and if I can get them labeled correctly, get my uh, get my guys dialed in for who beats who, it'll be a little easier than having to switch up the forms and whatnot. So, had some horrible RNG with uh, my Siandiot killing form. Uh, twice I lost the first one by like you know, 50, 80 troops. And then the next I came back and won by like 200. So I'm like, stupid. It's definitely pretty crazy. Uh, we did lose a troop there. So uh, probably uh, looks like a goblin tech bit the, bit the bullet there. That's all right. Usually they have all their cannons built anyways by this time. Uh, I like if they take out a cannon and not the goblin techs. Usually the goblin techs don't really uh, draw much attention because they don't attack anyone. They just kind of sit there. So the cannons generally draw more fire than the goblin techs, but sometimes they'll get picked off. If a cannon gets picked off, they can just rebuild it. If a goblin, get, goblin tech gets picked off, eh, can't really, he's not coming back from that. So this one doesn't look like it's going to get me as much with the orc hunters. Even though they probably out damaged the frost archers i put in there you can see it just spreads out the the field just a little bit so each guy spread out is uh, less damage on everybody else so i'm um, not thinking i'm going to get 100 million with this next uh 30 seconds or whatever so yeah just need more goblin techs is all and you can get uh, a lot more damage probably also if you had a higher level kraken it would be better as well mine kraken just can't doesn't have the perma stun going on like a normal one so pulled out the frosties put in orc hunters and got a lot less damage so um, go with the other one guys let's check out what the damage was though on those orc hunters so I mean, they were doing quite a bit more than obviously the Frost Archers were doing, but they'd, because they were spreading the guys out, all my area of effect guys did less damage. But you can imagine if you had all uh, Goblin Techs in there, um, even level 8s, so you're going to do 8, what, that one's got 7 million there. Where's my other 8? Uh, 8, 6 million, and 6. So not great damage, but better than the the 3 in the four so nines and tens do a lot more but uh actually my magic apprentices didn't do too bad interesting they did better than the ballistas i wonder yeah maybe i'll kick it around maybe do one more i'll pull out uh, some guys put my frosties back in there put in my magic apprentices see if that does anything for me So out with the old. Get my frosties back in there to slow them down. And then let's do this. Let's get some magic apprentices in there to Kick it up another notch. And here we go. Final. Final run since my magic apprentices were doing quite a bit more damage. I mean, they are area of effect. Every hit they do hits multiple targets in, in range. So it's not a not surprising that they would do more damage. Uh, just need to... If I can keep the guys from spreading out is going to be the main thing here. So just going to pause it and we'll pick it up with about 30 seconds left. So you guys don't have to watch the whole thing. Well, 454. So even though the uh, Magic Apprentices did a lot more damage than the Ballistas, when I pulled them, they... Uh, they're helping spread out the enemy too much, so the damage from the uh, Goblin Techs was less. So, interesting that. 
Well, I hope this helps, guys. Uh, 478 with that first run. Uh, thanks for watching.